Hey everyone, Tom Lynch here for ThirdXLives.com. I want to let you enjoy this for a moment before I go into my spiel. Not to put too fine a point on it, but that's probably the best thing about this game. Uh, the uh, Partners in Crime, as you know, recorded the m smash hit, T-U-R-T-L-E, Power, for the first movie? Shoot. Was it the first movie or the second movie? Oh, boy. Anyway. Hey, everyone. Uh, we're here taking a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, continuing our journey through the Ninja Turtles video game universe. Uh, we're a bit late on this episode. Uh, basically, don't ever move anybody, ever. Uh, moving works is the, is the worst. It continues to be the worst. It's always the worst. It, it just it will never get good. Uh, so don't do it. <sighs> anyway, so this game came out uh, last year, 2013, for the PC 360 and PS3. We are looking at the PC version. Uh, as Actually, as a result of my moving... Uh, I will only be able to do PC games for the foreseeable future, so uh, keep that in mind if you have any requests. Uh, but I've got a couple games in mind, anyway. Um, so, uh, this is our little menu here. We'll just hit resume game and pop into where I was. Uh, I have finished this game. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh... Oh... Okay, I'm apparently picking up from where I was. Uh, so yeah, um, where to begin? So the red headbands, that's something you unlock after, I think after beating the game. Um, and so you see all four turtles are always here. You can uh, swap between them with the D-pad. Uh, the main thing being is, you know, they, they're supposed to, you know, fight differently. Which they do, like Raph hits a little harder and stuff like that. And you unlock different uh, abilities and such. And uh, I'll just I'll just start running around a little bit here. Um, yeah, you got a, a roll. Oh, there's the run. I was playing around this a little bit earlier and could not figure out the run button. But yeah, this game this game is okay. Uh, it's it steals pretty liberally from Batman, which is a good game to steal from if you want to make a uh, an action game. However, it doesn't do it particularly well. Uh, it works, sort of, but Hang you can't on. interrupt. I hear something. Whoa. It's more purple dragons. Okay, everyone, keep cool. Hey, what? So, you as you can the tell, these are not loser, huh? the voices from any of the cartoons. Um, and they're they're just gonna keep talking at me. Uh, but yeah, the, the combat's okay. Um, the the biggest thing is that, that you can't. Really oh. Awesome. If you could fill I didn't. A balloon with That's cool. Crackers. I remember doing that. That way, you could throw it, and you know, boom! Animal crackers fly everywhere. Uh, okay, yeah, so you can pick guys up. So yeah, there's no like down and out knockout um, move that Batman has. Nice try. The dodging kind of works, but I don't remember what button that is. So okay, so left trigger just switch between that stuff. I'm going to guess... Okay, it must be this B button. Right? Yeah, okay. So, uh... Oh, story. This is really disappointing, also. Like, this is how the entire story of this game comes about. It's these crappy... Hey, whoa, Al Capone, ease off. Comic booky What's type up, things where they just zoom in Get on it and they don't even Forget it. It's a bust. It's just so April, boring. We're headed back to the lair. We lost him. Copy. Uh, wow, this goes a while. I don't We should be on the lookout. Color being that much. So the turtles lost our trail, right. but they know we were moving I'm actually going to the tunnels. It won't matter. Okay, I was gonna try and skip it, but it won't let me. Um, so this is in like a weird sort of the Nickelodeon universe, but it doesn't tie into anything. I mean, obviously Baxter looks like he does in cartoon, and 
Kurai does, and just about everyone does, but the turtles, um, yeah, they, they change some designs on stuff, but you don't see, I don't think the Krang really show up at all, um, none of the other mutants, no Dog Pound or, uh, Fish Face or, um, or any of the other guys show up here, um, so yeah, it's almost like a... Why not just cut across the I wouldn't say like Splinter Universe faster? or something, but... I want to stay out of sight. There were foot... Okay, so we'll take a minute here. Oh, okay, so those are objectives. I don't know. Um, so I've got some stats. Let's see what my stats are. Okay, yeah. So you level up. Uh, you'll see in the top right there, I'm level 18. Um, and so you can buy different combos and stuff. Uh, per turtle. And I think you... Oh, well, let's see here. Ability points four. So let's see if I do this. Okay, yeah, so your points, you have to stretch across all of the turtles. So I'll just pick you something random, and you something random. Already got Don something. I will give Mikey special attack mastery. And we'll purchase uh, apply points. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's kind of actually a lot here if you want to engage with it. Um, you do have to make decisions about different special attacks, which is kind of neat. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so Donnie's special attacks are the right thing and right trigger. Okay. Uh, yeah, different, just different stuff. Combat, team stuff. Oh, what was the team stuff? I should have bought more of that. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't buy any team attacks. Okay, so yeah, so this lets you knock up, uh, knock up somebody, and then switch to someone else, and they'll hit them. Um, but yeah, there's actually it's a, a lot, a lot to level up. So I, 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 they want you to play through this game several, several times. Uh, that's pretty much it. All right, you know what? We'll pop back out to HQ, and we'll see what's there. One of the nice things about being on a PC is that it loads pretty quick. Uh, so let's see. So the map's just where you pick the level you want to do. Oh, the crank does show up. Oh, I totally forgot. Uh, I don't know what that gross sound is. So let's say... No weapon point. Okay, so I need weapon upgrade points. However, you get those. Okay. Uh, stats, same thing. We can do some training, which is not particularly great. Sweet, sweet concept art. Giant mouser things. Oh, I haven't even unlocked all the concept art. Yeah, I guess I just finished this game and just put it down. It, it just it didn't particularly grabbed me. Uh, we'll look at the arcade before we go, um, but oops, nope, not what I wanted. Ugh. So this is a really annoying thing. Anytime you hit a menu option, you have to go through these really frustratingly long transitions before you can get back into stuff. So we'll head back to the map. Uh, what's challenge mode? Fight waves of enemies. I don't really want to do any of that. Campaign. Oh, you can only pick out of the four chapters. That's a bummer. And then, oh shoot, I just wanted to see what it was. Oh, all right. Well, we're not going to do multiplayer. Uh, all right, so I'll pop in, I'll do one more level, and then we'll check out the arcade mode. See if I can do something a little interesting here. Yeah, it's, um, you know, we'll jump into the challenge. You already saw that one level. And that's what you saw is essentially how the game goes. It's a little bit of traversal, not much at all. You get into a fight. And, of course, I picked Donatello. Oh, wait. I ah, won't give him the purple headband. Um... But yeah, it's, it, and the, the combat's okay. It is nice that you have the other turtles, and they do, for the most part, hold their own, with the exception of uh, some of the later levels. Like when you're fighting Shredder, like they just go down left and right. Um, okay, so I guess I'm just I'm alone here. 
Okay, so yeah, so there's some some of the late game. Oh man, I'm getting messed up here. So these are some of the later game enemies. I am just, I'm gonna die real fast. Okay, so that was one of the special moves I have. But yeah. Yep. So you're when you're fighting like that, you can't you can't interrupt your inter your animation. To block anything, which is what the hell's the point? had it um I don't want to restart the level so yeah it's a uh, you know X and Y weak and strong attacks but yeah you can't interrupt your animations to block or do other attack anybody else which that's how Batman feels so smooth is when you see an attack coming in you can cancel out of what you're doing and block it not so here if you're in the middle of a big long move guess what you're getting hit uh, and that's very frustrating especially like I was talking about earlier in the late game we'll just pop back to the HQ and like some of the late game enemies are just infuriating uh, and I feel like I'm kind of coming down a little hard on this game but it is it's fun it was a fun game I had a good time playing through it um, we'll pop over the arcade show that off uh, so this is seven out of seven. I don't know what that means. Well, I'll show you guys. We'll show Leonardo here just to have a different turtle. Okay, so this is their like, hey, it's an arcade game. So this is supposed to be play it like it was one of the old arcade games. But yeah, for the most part... So when you can actually block, it's okay, but like... I'm actually hitting the block button while I'm in the middle of attacking, and it's not doing anything. I'm basically just mashing the X button here. But yeah, this does look. This looks nice. It's a nice looking game. Uh, the designs of the turtles are okay. They're not great. They're kind of closer, closer to the movie. There's too much talking. Yep. See, if this were Batman, I'd be blocking all these attacks. But your only option really is to dodge out of the way, which is frustrating. Hey guys, bounce. That's probably one of the cooler things you can do is that, um, being able to pick someone up and just wail on them again, which is basically their answer, you know, in Batman, you have a downed attack that is basically an insta-kill. But in this case, they didn't bother to do that, so they're just like, eh, you can pick them up. Which is the only way to really keep your combo going, as long as you need it to go. Come here, punk. Oh, I didn't expect to actually be able to do that. So as you can see, my combo keeps going, even though I'm not actually landing hits when they're blocking them. And I don't know how to do my special. Oh, okay, I guess that was it. So yeah, I think, like, kicking him is the guard block. Okay, so you can't bring it. You can't switch between the turtles here. What? Oh, okay. Come 
Damn punk. Oh yeah, there's like some kind of neat traversal stuff they built in, but it very rarely gets and used. Another. Yep, XXX. That's the name of the game. Um, but yeah, this game's okay. I, I really, I would like to play it with somebody else and see how that is. But since I'm on a PC, I don't think you could do split screen. I don't even know if you do split screen on the uh, console versions. Spin like a ninja. Oh, that's neat. Can you do that here? No, you just flip around. Round we go. All right, I'm just gonna do that for the next five minutes. I think that's about it. Um, but yeah, this game's neat. It, it, it is one of the better Ninja Turtle games to come out in a in an incredible amount of time. But sadly, it just I don't know. It's still not a particularly great game. So I don't know what it'll take for them to make a good Ninja Turtles game, but I, I, I honestly don't know that we'll ever see it. Uh, they, they could, if this had more time, like the, the leveling up is neat, like if they could give you a world, imagine like a Batman Arkham Knight world where you're the Ninja Turtles. Like I think that would work spectacularly, like it fits that template without a problem and I don't know, maybe we'll get a movie oh, yeah. game that does that, but I have my doubts. I, I haven't seen any game get announced or anything. Maybe if they make a sequel. But the the latest game released uh, looks to be just like a really, really stupid, dumbed-down platformer, uh, presumably for kids, but you can find it already right now for That's 10 bucks on Amazon. Which doesn't exactly uh, speak highly of it. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, if you like the Ninja Turtles and you, you have a system that can run this, you can get it cheap, like, absolutely. Like, this game is fun. Uh, it's, it's worth it's worth the couple hours it takes to finish. There's really not much to it, but... Finally. I feel like there were more than three guys, and I just ran around in a circle for a while. Alright. Well, that's gonna do it. We're gonna... We're gonna pop out, and we're gonna listen to... Turtle Power a little more before we go, but that's been uh, Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Uh, it's uh, it's an okay game. It's an okay game. Yeah, that's it's hell. It's better than any of the 3D games up to this point uh, by a large margin. Uh, but sadly, it's just not li like take away the Turtles license, and I would never have finished this game. So I think that's gonna do it. Uh, yep. We're gonna pop out to the main menu. We're gonna groove a little bit. There we go. That feels good. Alright, everyone. I've been Tom Lynch for ThirdActualives.com, and thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, we will catch you next time for our final Ninja Turtles video game. It's a weird one. Alright, see you then.